Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Hey, a lot of API Nation users are also MailChimp users. And a lot of times they'll ask us, hey, I'm using MailChimp, how can I use it better? So I'm gonna show you seven things you probably didn't know you could do with MailChimp that's gonna make it way more powerful and make you way more productive as a real estate professional, a marketing professional, even just someone out there running a business, growing it. Let me show you. The first thing you probably didn't know you could do with MailChimp is schedule social posts. So you can actually schedule posts to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram from within MailChimp. Let me show you what that looks like. So once you're here, you're gonna go over to campaigns or you can just hit create and you're gonna select social post down here in the left corner. Click on that, just name it. Let's say, you know, happy Monday, begin. Choose which channels you want to send this on. You can send it on all three. You can just choose one, totally up to you. I'm gonna go with all three. And now you're just gonna draft up a little post here. Happy Monday. You can browse for some pictures you've used in the past. Looks like this guy, I got this guy, he's pretty happy. So I'm just gonna add that in there. There we go. And I can edit it down if I want. This looks good though, just for an example. Hit save and continue. It's gonna publish that on all three of my social channels. I'm gonna hit save and continue. And I can publish it now or I can schedule it. So I could actually go through and queue these up for days and weeks ahead of time through MailChimp. So I don't have to pay for a totally separate app to schedule my social posts anymore. So that's number one, scheduling social posts. Number two, I can add contacts from Gmail. So if I'm trying to build out my audience, my MailChimp audience, I'm building a list maybe, maybe I have a bunch of people in Gmail I've done business with in the past. I can add all those people into my MailChimp audience with just a click through API Nation. Let me show you what that looks like. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to your contacts.google.com and that's where all your Gmail contacts live. That's where all your contacts for your phone might live. And I'm first going to create a label. I'm gonna create a label. I'm gonna call it MailChimp. And what this will allow me to do is control exactly who is going over to MailChimp because maybe I don't wanna sync everybody for my phone, everybody for my Gmail, but I wanna make it so that all I have to do is tag a contact in Gmail and they'll automatically get added to my MailChimp audience. So I have this label, MailChimp. Now I'm gonna to go to apination.com. Once you sign into API Nation, just scroll on down till you get to MailChimp, click on that. And I'm gonna sync MailChimp with Google Contacts, which is my Gmail contacts. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna have you connect both apps here. There's the workflow we're gonna use, Google Contacts to MailChimp, activate that. It's gonna have you connect both apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Google Contacts. Just hit this button and connect it if you don't already have the app connected to API Nation. Similar thing here for MailChimp. To connect MailChimp, you just need the API key and we have all the information to do that here. It takes two seconds. Once you connect both apps, this is where you're gonna specify, I wanna sync over from that MailChimp label. So I'm gonna just choose that label. If you already have people in that label, you can actually check this box and it's gonna pull over all those existing people who are labeled MailChimp. And I'm gonna send them to that audience, real estate leads and clients, which is where those people are gonna go. I'll hit subscribe. It's gonna create the sync for me. The only thing I have left to do is just come down here to mapping. Just double check that everything's going where I want it. Email, first name, last name. If there's anything else I wanna sync into MailChimp, I can go ahead and hit a plus sign look for something here. Maybe we want to add city and pop it in there. So there we go. This looks good. I'll go ahead and activate this sync. And that's it. The sync is now active. Now, whenever I'm in Gmail, let's say I got this email from Arnold Schwarzenegger and I think Arnold and I have been doing business for a long time. I want to go ahead and add him to my MailChimp newsletter. I can just come over here to the contacts. It's going to tell me, all right, I'm talking about Arnold. I'm going to click on Arnold, hit this save button. There we go, now Arnold is in my contacts. Now I'm just gonna edit him and tag him with MailChimp. That's it. Now I've added Arnold to my MailChimp audience and I didn't have to import, export, download, upload, none of that. So that's it. That is how you can add contacts from Gmail into your MailChimp audience. Number three, you can show different content to different people from the same email. It's awesome, super powerful. Let me show you what this looks like. 
So I've just quickly created an email here in the classic builder. It's just a draft, but the idea is maybe I want to send out this article, five ways to set better goals. I want to send that to everybody in my list. I think it'll be interesting to everybody, buyers, sellers, anybody I'm doing business with. But then I come down here and maybe I have invitations to an open house or a holiday party or something else. I only want the information here in this block to go to specific people. So what I can do is I can hit this edit button, come up here to set dynamic content and that's for this whole box here. So I'm gonna set dynamic content and I can do it based on any of the fields I have in MailChimp. So I've actually set up a field called VIP. And if I want people to get my VIP content, I say VIP is Y. And I set up that field so it's only yes or no. So now, only people who I've marked yes as VIPs will see this dynamic content. Everybody else will only see this content. And you can do it based on any of the fields you have set up in MailChimp. So if you wanna do it based on buyer or seller, past client, city, state, zip code, any of that stuff, you can set up with this dynamic content to show people exactly what you want them to see. Number four is really cool. It's gonna save you a lot of time, especially if you are posting on a blog, posting regularly, and you wanna share it with your audience. You can connect your blog's RSS feed to a MailChimp so that MailChimp will collect all the blog posts you have on a schedule and email them out to your audience. Let me show you. So here we are, we're in MailChimp. I'm gonna to go to Create Automations and I'm gonna head get started. And this is now kind of hidden, but it's still available. So here at the top, there's this tiny link that says check out classic automation. Let me click on that. They definitely want you to get into the journeys, which journeys are super powerful, but this RSS tool is only available in the classic automations. And there it is, share a blog update. So it's in the featured. I'm gonna click on that, choose my audience and hit begin. And this is it. All you have to do is plug in your RSS feed and then you can tell it how often do you want to send. And it's only going to send if you actually post something in a blog. So if you don't, if you only post once a quarter, it's not going to send every day with an empty email. It's going to wait until you post. And then it's going to go ahead and send the next available time at 4 a.m. They also have some information here that will help you find your RSS feed. But this makes it so that any blog you're updating and maintaining can automatically be emailed out to your audience getting some eyeballs on it, getting some traffic to that blog, and starting to create more deals. Number five is often overlooked, but it's super powerful. Did you know through MailChimp you can send physical postcards? Let me show you where that is. So here we are in a MailChimp. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit create. It's at the very top. And again, I'm gonna come down here to postcards. So I can send a single postcard. So maybe I got a holiday coming up and I just wanna send out a Mother's Day card to all my clients, I could do that or I could set up a recurring postcard. So I could do that. Let's do this uh, you know, monthly check-in maybe. Hit begin. And you would just draft up the postcard. It's gonna ship out within five to nine days. You go ahead and schedule it. Let's do it every month. That makes sense because it's a monthly check-in. Add the recipient. So I'll just choose my audience. I could do all contacts or I could do it based on the segment. So maybe I've segmented people into buyers, sellers, or specific zip codes and I wanna hit them that way. And then go ahead and hit your budget for your order. That way if you have you know, thousands, you don't end up sending out postcards to thousands of people. It's only gonna send out as many as your budget will allow. So you can see postcards are about 72 cents a postcard, plus postage depending on where you're sending it from. But yeah, this is it. We'll just draft up your postcard and go ahead and ship it out. So again, a great way, especially if you already have a lot of content, a lot of images in MailChimp, you can quickly just hop in here, fire those off. Number six is really cool if in your newsletter you send out links to other stories or articles that you think your audience will find interesting. This is gonna save you time so you don't have to drag in images and write up little summaries for those articles. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go over here to create a campaign and I'm actually gonna use the new builder. So I'm gonna go here to design email, choose the new builder instead of the classic builder. And we have to use a new builder because that's where this apps tool is. So I'm gonna drag this apps over to my message, drop it in there. And now it's gonna say, all right, 
There's a bunch of different apps I can pop in here. Maybe I wanna pull in stuff from my Instagram. Maybe I wanna pull in stuff from my Google business profile. Definitely check those out. But the link preview is what I'm excited about right now. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna say, all right, which link are you doing? So I'm sending people an article I really liked. I thought they'd be interested in it about how much cash you should have on Keep At Home, which may be very interesting for sellers, may be very interesting for buyers. And you can send out all the classic articles, you know, how to update your bathroom, the paint colors you should be interested in, how often you have to clean your rain gutters, the stuff that buyers and sellers are gonna be interested in. And if you're a marketing professional, you can put in information about you know, updates to Google Analytics, what's going on with Facebook ads, what are the newest things in Instagram and TikTok, you know, any of those articles. But as you're collecting them, as you're curating them, all you have to do is paste them in here. You can just go ahead and choose how you want them to look. Maybe you want them to be large, medium, or small. And this way you don't have to copy those pictures from the blog, bring them into MailChimp. You don't have to come up with a summary for the article. It just automatically does it. So you can just drop in two or three stories just by dropping the links in and having it grab the information from those websites. So let me grab another one just to let me show you. So I'm gonna grab that apps, drag it over here. Again, choose the link preview, paste in the link, and there we go. There's another article. I can just build them out, curating all those articles I wanna send over to my audience. And here we go, number seven, the final tip you probably didn't know you could do with MailChimp. You can offer appointments so people can book themselves with you. Let me show you. So we're gonna go back into MailChimp. I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side, scroll down till I get to website. So right above my head, click on that, and then I'm gonna click on appointments. And that's gonna take me to a tool where I can create what are called services. So depending on what you are, if you're a marketing professional, you can set up little consultations over Zoom. If you're a real estate agent, you can set up listing appointments. You can just go ahead and decide here. I'm gonna go with a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's just call it a consultation. Let's chat. And let's make it 30 minutes. I'm gonna go with free because it's a consultation. I just wanna get in there and talk to them. I can even set up an SMS. If I want, that'll remind them about the upcoming appointment. I'm gonna hit continue. And then we're just gonna choose how we're gonna meet. We can do in-person, virtual, or phone call. If you're doing virtual, you're just gonna to wanna to throw in your Zoom room here. That way you can meet in there. I'm just gonna do in-person for now. I'm gonna say, let's meet at my office. You'd probably wanna put your actual address in there. There we go. And then you just schedule your availability. There's also settings in here so you can connect to your Google Calendar. So then as you book things in your Google Calendar, your regular stuff, those blocks will be taken up so nobody can schedule through your MailChimp page anything on those days or at those times. So there we go. That's how you can offer appointments through MailChimp. So that's it. Those are the seven things you probably didn't know you could do with MailChimp. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe to API Nation's YouTube channel. We're gonna keep putting out videos that are gonna help you automate your business, grow your business, scale it, and be more productive. If you need help setting up a MailChimp automation with any of your apps or have ideas for other automations you'd like to see, contact us, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're API Nation, we are connecting the world's applications.